Hello our dear viewers and welcome to this new tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to learn how to set up taxes on Shopify. I'm already here on my Shopify store and we have other tutorials on how to log in and how to add products. I've already added products so you're welcome to watch those tutorials. Our focus in this one will be on how to set up taxes on Shopify especially for beginners. So to add taxes or to set up taxes on Shopify, you'll come to that bottom left corner here and click on settings. And that will open your settings for your Shopify store. So you have the store, the plan, the billing and all this. So you'll scroll down until you get to taxes and duties. Now, most countries have different tax legal systems and so this may be varied depending on the country and I'm going to be demonstrating the same using different countries. So at the top here, you notice we have now the taxes and duties after clicking on it on the left hand side. Make sure all of your taxable variants are set up to charge taxes. So if you want to edit the variants, you simply click on edit variants down here and click on edit variants here and then you edit that but also you can come to manage sales tax collection and if you haven't already created shipping zone in the regions you are liable in then you find the region in the list and select it to manage its tax settings and if you're unsure about where you are liable you simply check the tax professional so you simply come down here let me demonstrate using one country, then I show you how different this will be. Let's look for a country called Kenya in Africa. Then you see their tax system. If I click on that, you'll notice that in Kenya, for the base taxes, you use base taxes if you have tax obligation in Kenya, and this tax rate will be used unless override as specified. And I'll be explaining about the override shortly. So you notice in Kenya, the country tax is 16%. Now, if you want to charge the 16%, that's okay. You click on save. But now, how, what is an override? Now, the tax overrides, you simply customize region-based tax rates for specific product collections or shipping rates when shipping to designated areas. So, I want a certain product maybe to have a tax, the normal tax 16%, and then I want to add a tax override. So, you simply click on tax override and then you can add the tax override either for products or for shipping if you select for product you simply select a collection to apply the tax override for, from your collection so you can simply click here and create a new collection i didn't have a collection so you notice here i don't have any collection to select from but we have other tutorials on how to create a collection. You simply come to your products and you simply add them to a collection as a bulk there as they are. Like you just select the products and then you add them to a collection. So I'll come back here. So you can select the collection there. And then the location here is Kenya. So that's how you add the tax override for a collection. Then you can, for a collection on products, then you can also do the override on shipping. Then the Kenya then the tax rate is 16, but maybe you want that to be 18. So then you can now click on add the override. And now you'll notice here, we have the country tax, 16%. And then we have the shipping to Kenya that will have an override of 18 instead of 16 federal tax. So that's how you can add that. So let's, let's demonstrate this with a different country. So let's come to again taxes and duties, and then we select a different region. Let's select Canada, for instance. So you notice with Canada, it has given us a different setup here. If you do business in Canada, you may be required to collect sales tax on sales in Canada. So you notice this is different from the one that we have just demonstrated from a country called Kenya. So tax collection here, you are not collecting tax sales in Canada. So collect sales tax in regions where your business has tax obligation. So you now simply click on collect tax sales and then you now choose the region here. Sales tax is automatically calculated and applied to order. So you make sure 
you are registered for sales tax when collecting the tax. So you now select where. Maybe you want that to be in Alberta. Then you now put your tax number here. So adding the GST, that is for Alberta, will apply GST to all Canada and HST to participating provinces. This is because GST and uh, HST is the same tax account. So you add the number here. Now we don't have this, we don't have a number yet. So you, but you simply add your number here and then just, that's just a sample number. And then you click on collect sales tax. You just click on that. And now you notice tax registration has been added. And now you notice here we have sales tax collection for this region, Canada, with this sales tax, and it's updated on 12th January. So you can edit this letter. You simply click on that, and then you can click on edit sales tax information. You can now edit it here. So let's cancel that. We don't want to edit that. Now, we can also add the tax directly on our products. For instance, if I click on the baby toys here, have its media here, and then once we come to the pricing, you notice it's going for 499 shillings. And then you notice here you have charge tax on this product. So if now we click on charge tax on this product, we now allow that product to be taxed. So cost per item, then the profit and the margin are shown here. But now we have allowed this product to be taxed. So if we come back to our channel here, just to demonstrate with the last country, if we look for a very different country like Israel, if we click on Israel, you'll notice here, you'll notice here the country tax does not automatically insert itself here, like for Kenya where automatically 16% was added. Then once you come down here, you can see the duties and import taxes where you can help international customers avoid unexpected fees. You can compare the plans there. And then you can view here for summary of your collected taxes. This way you view all that. And then down here, you decide how your tax is charged. Do you include it in your tax prices? Do you include it there? If you want to include it there, you click on that so that you include it in the tax. For instance, if you are selling a product at 100 Kenyan shillings and then you have added a tax of 10%, you simply include the tax in the price. Maybe the product will go now for 110 shillings instead of 100 shillings. So you can also charge tax on the shipping rates. This you include shipping rates in the tax calculation and this is automatically calculated for countries such as Australia, Canada, European Union and New Zealand among others. You can also charge VAT on uh, digital goods and VAT will be applied on products in the digital goods VAT tax collection at checkout for European customers. So we may have some products which are digital. So you notice like here, we have this product, our baby toys. Down here, you notice we have indicated that this is a physical product. So if it was a digital product, we would have unchecked that to mean that this is not a, to mean that this is not a physical product. So you notice here, customers won't enter shipping details at checkout. And down here, you notice, learn how to set up store for digital products or services. So you can now set up products or services which are now considered to be digital. So that's how you set up all this. And once you have done all the setup here for the duties and for the tax to be decided, you simply click on save. And that is simply how you set up your taxes on Shopify. I hope this has been helpful. Kindly like this video, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.